But the heartbreak of critics, it, it, it forces us to try and outpace them. We think if we can just do enough stuff, we can stay ahead of their critical words. But when you give ear to them, it fuels your busyness. The heartbreak of exhaustion. For someone that likes things a certain way, this is me right here, okay? It's easier for me to do it myself than to clean up somebody else's mess. Then there's a heartbreak of guilt. When you feel like you don't measure up or you're not good enough, then you say yes to everything. And that guilt fuels your busyness. And if each of us were to pause right now and reflect on ourselves for just a moment, where would you put the gauge of your heart? Is it full or is it empty? Where, where would you put your relational gauge? How are you interacting with, with the people around you? Full or, or empty? What about your, your family gauge? How is the dynamic in your house right now? Do you, do you feel full? I mean, this should be the most wonderful time of the year, right? I mean, we should all have full relational, full family gauges. Your personal gauge. Most importantly, where's your spiritual gauge? In a season where we're supposed to reflect on the fact that God came to earth, Emmanuel, Jesus, the incarnate deity, is our spiritual gauge full or is it empty? And then you have to ask yourself, is, is my schedule filling me up or emptying me out? 